and uh, the icing part number three. Number three. Yeah, you're not removing the number three. This is the bottom. I, 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 I want to read for you so that you can tell the court what, what you told the court right now. Which suspect will be arrested? Oh, which understand the question? Which suspect did you? Uh, you know, let us just first of all just look at it. Yes, OB number 60 of 24. <coughs> Which honor was that is the true position that the OB is for yesterday? Clearly shows this is a setup. They could not have been looking for this respondent before any report had ever been made. And, and you know, if you were to look at even OP number 60, had they even given you an extract of it, you would have realized that there is no way this matter could have been reported the same moment and these people are looked for at the same moment in the morning and found at the same moment as a makeup. They are saying that the applicant is investigating a case of possible detainer. Possible detainer. Question would be, Your Honor, so that if they came here with facts and they're genuine, the court would want to find out who did they detain? And if it is not a person, what did they detain? Therefore, it will follow when, where. <coughs> there is no name, there is nothing. That fact is blank. Therefore, it goes to prove that it's a setup. Now we don't now respond to the issues. Yes. Yeah, it's not a setup. The There is even nothing that has been put before you to show that there is any offence that has been committed. But what do they do? 
they show you some favorites in. They say that they have been given documents by a complainant. First of all, if the respondents had documents, it would come from one person, not four of them. So three of them suffer because of an allegation. Stop it. Yes, sir. How about that? Uh, two yes. minutes. Okay, give, me, give me five. I'll be five. I'll be, I'll be five. Has brought his documents. So what do they do? They choose to put the respondent in custody and leave the other one out. They talk of an OB for 25th. Nah. But they refuse intentionally to show you that there is an OB by the respondent number one for nine, uh, OB number nine of 19, uh, of 18th of March 2024. Seven days before any other person imagines to complain, what have they done about it? If that is not unfairness, please, Your Honor, tell me what is it. If the state would want to be fair, you have been shown letters. I'd rather they have not been shown to you, but letter is by the minister who is not even a complainant. He has written a letter to the minister for lands. A minister writing for another minister of lands saying that there is some land in danger. How is that a complaint? So they bring you that communication and try to put dust into your eyes that there is some powerful communication going on. It serves no purpose. But they also have documents. And this is why you will find that there is malice. The letters that they have given to us are letters written by Mr. Gash, uh, Mr. Washira here. Mr. Washida here is the one writing these letters to the Kenya Wildlife Service asking them not to interfere with that land. So while Mr. the first respondent and a counsel on record for him has been trying to get this matter solved, these are the letters they are bringing to you and we are happy that they are brought them to you. They should make the copies. But the most shocking of them all is that the Kenya Wildlife Services replies to that letter to the Pyrastas Kanga, the Director General. And finds out that the land belongs to the first respondent. The first respondent, the end of American land. It's totally unfair. And now they come here without batting an eyelid, without an eye of shame, and say they want five days. Yes. Yes. Uh, I think counsel is proceeding to give evidence. We are not at that stage. The case is still under investigation. When you're talking about a confirmation of a title of ownership that was given, we are investigating that issue of ownership. It's not conclusive. We don't give any evidence as regards to that. We cannot confirm that. Yet. Yeah, no, it is not. Also, we think they can interfere with evidence and witnesses. So it is a case of public interest. Before that is a grand business file case. Yeah. Yes, I can ask him maybe a few questions on Mr. Vidalic before he can submit. I just want to get a test to clarify one or two things. Mm -hmm. 
Korea. Good morning. Yes. I just want you to clarify one or two things. Eh? But uh, this document, the four of them, has any of them made an attempt to maybe leave the jurisdiction after you were arrested? Any of the only of the four? <coughs> I can explain. I can explain to you. Any of them? Them? No, no, sir. Yeah. You arrested these people yesterday. Yesterday is Monday. Please let's stick to the facts. Yesterday you had these people as for Monday, yes? Has any of them attempted to escape? At the moment they are not in the field. No, no. Have they attempted because they are in your custody now? So I'm asking you a very simple question. To attempt for them to escape is from your custody elsewhere. You see they are righteous. Have they tried to? No. No. Any of them try to interfere with any of your witnesses? That is the question I'm asking. They will. No, no. Has it been done at I the moment. I know they will interfere. Not well. Please don't tell me about the future. We are here present. Let's not, let's not imagine. Have they? You know, at the moment, the investigation is still going on. Have they interfered with any of your witnesses, sir? Please ask them the question. I'm not going to leave it. I think they will interfere. Have they? No, but I. Thank you very much. Now. At what time did you have these people arrested? They were called on last week Friday, but they did not. So I'm asking a very simple question that can be need on an answer. At what time were they arrested? Simple question. This time around 10. Around 10. Well, <laughs> Give us the copies right now, we can produce as we go to. Otherwise, we can abandon that one. Are the documents the next chance to be the garbage? Or not? No. You can help uh, prosecution counsel carry the note. Under paragraph uh, 4. Motion. You know that is not the question. Your, your question is simple whether they are next or they are not given up. That is what your witness is supposed to want and that's what your prosecutor is supposed to want. Provide the documents. Provide the documents. Also, I'm applying for five days for 
the four suspects to be detained at Machakos police station. The reason for the application for five days, we have not done or we have not recorded statement for some weaknesses. Also, we have read some letters. Also, we have written letters to Hardy of Nairobi, Survey of Kenya, Kenya Wildlife Service. Survey of Kenya. Also, Kenya Wildlife Service. To confirm the title which was presented by both parties. Which parties? Swap. Sorry? The Swara Conservative. The complaint. Also a letter which was written by Kenya KWS confirming the password. Also there is a letter from the CS. Uh, a letter from KWS confirming what? The parcel of land, LR number 28055. There was a letter. Yes, I'm clear. There's a letter. Yes. So what, what about the letter? The letter from KWS confirmed the ownership of the land. Yeah, you know, maybe we need to have a call depositing with the police cash pay the sum of Kenya shillings, 200,000 each with two contact persons for each condition A for purposes of facilitating the investigations and valid, and valid only for a period of two months each respondent shall cooperate with the investigative officer and in this regard, appear before the officer as, when, and where required. Condition B, each respondent shall commit no offence, interfere with no witness. Each respondent shall appear before court as, and when required. Failure to meet any of the conditions will lead to cancellation of the contracts. What does accordingly? Move the criteria. Move the criteria. That is Mr. Remaining the names, Mr. Ambeta. Yes, Mr. Ambeta. You have a mention of the farm eighth of April. Mention on eighth of April for. Thank you. 